from the Art Experience on Art Talk, Wall Street Station, The Money Man. And today is a wonderful morning because we have a very talented, uh, good-looking gentleman in our studio. Good morning, Alex Mihalis. Good morning. How are you doing? Very good. And yourself? Very good. I'm super happy to have you. As you know, this is uh, October, is our Hispanic Heritage Month. And so this month we started with... Um, Manny Ruiz, who's the CEO of Hispanicize, and we went into Bill Fuller, which I actually had to reach out to him and say, oh, this is only for, you know, for Hispanics and uh, community leaders. He goes, well, I'm Cuban. <laughs> and I said, okay, funny, you know, I'm a Boricua with a name Baker, so he's Fuller and he's Cuban. So we had him. Last week we had the Puerto Rican uh, Chamber President, Luis de la Rosa, and this week we had the amazing, talented young artist embraced by all of Miami and internationally as well, Alex Mihalis. Thank you so much. I want to ask you a question. When you were 10th grade, you were born and raised in Miami, and uh, you went to Gulliver. Yeah. And I want, to, I want you to go back. We're in the 10th grade right now, and if I was your teacher, and I was going to ask you, when you reach 30 years old, what will you be doing? Um, man, if you would have asked me that, I had no idea. I probably would have said uh, partying still. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, in 10th grade, man, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I mean, I, I guess I thought I was, at, around 10th grade, I thought maybe I would go into law school and be an attorney just because I was really good at arguing with my parents. <laughs> that's, <laughs> so, that's totally the talent. <laughs> I always kind of, you know, figured out a way to uh, get what I wanted and just by arguing and yelling and whatnot. So I guess that's where I figured I'd be. Now, I have to tell you, I can honestly say, and for our listening audience, which is internationally and nationally uh, syndicated through iHeartRadio, and it is an investment channel. Uh, the Money Man, you know, their portfolio is over $100 million that they've been doing this for such a long time. So you have a lot of people listening around the world. And I have to tell these people, if you haven't seen Alex Mihades, I mean, honestly, not only young, good looking, a very... Uh, you're embraced by everyone in Miami. You know, I, just great stuff. Uh, CBS says that you are the top five uh, up and coming artists, coming elite daily, m top ten most influential artists. Um, and still, you know, you just started painting not too long ago during our commercial break uh, prior to the show coming on. You were mentioning that you went to get your MBA. Yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> after I finished high school, I went to uh, Northeastern for a little while in Boston, froze for a little while, and then I uh, <laughs> came back and uh, went to FIU, and you know was working with my father, still doing the sheet metal fabrication business, and um, then shortly after, you know, my mother was like, "Hey, listen, your brother's a doctor, so you got to go ahead and continue further education because you know just a bachelor's not enough." I was like, she always ex you know expected the best, the most right. from us, yes. so I was like, "All right, I'll go get an MBA." So, I mean, it sounded a little easier than it was. And uh, then I went, you know, I applied, I got in, and, you know, a week after I graduated, I basically picked up a paintbrush, and, you know, I had moved into, a, uh, you know, an apartment, and uh, all the art that I liked, you know, I couldn't afford it. So I went and painted it. That's amazing. So <laughs> you literally, that would have been, what, 26, 25 years old? Uh, it was 2011. I'm 29 now. So. Oh, wow. So that's amazing for, and honestly, you know, a lot of people come on the show, and my co-anchor, which is Alicia Frischberg, who's not here today, we miss you, Alicia, uh, will normally ask, you know, uh, what made you, what made you, what was the influential uh, factor, and yours is that you couldn't afford uh, to buy your own painting, so you started painting. Yeah, I, um, you know, I, like everything I looked for, because I had a really big wall in my apartment, I couldn't afford any of it. It was like, you know, 20000 30000 so I guess I had expensive taste. So I was like, you know what, I've always doodled all over my books as a young kid. I was like, let me just go to the store, and I'll buy a canvas and see what happens. And the funny part of that story is, I actually, it was a roll of a canvas, and I had finished the whole painting, and it was actually very hard and difficult and kind of a pain to do. And when I actually finished, you know, a couple weeks later, when I went to actually have it stretched, the guy had told me, asked me if I had, you know, a hard time, you know, painting on it. And what happened was I painted on the wrong side of the canvas. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, one side felt like plastic, the other side felt like fabric. I painted on the side that wasn't primed. So oh. that's why my paint kept bleeding. And I was like, this is not peaceful or relaxing like I just say it is. 
And so after that, I was like, do I, you I still just have that to, painting? I still do. Yes. You still do that. And would you ever sell that painting or is that something special? They actually, when, someone asked me that yesterday and you know, eventually I think I will, but right now, uh, you know, I, I, it's a keepsake. Like I have it in my house. You know, I look at it every day. I have it up right next to my bed. So it's something that I look at, you know, right before I go to sleep is kind of like, a, it makes me smile every time I see it. Just well, because yeah, it's that's an amazing, where it started. Yeah, birth. It yeah. was the birthmark of, of getting into a new, fascinating, very uh, insecure career. But you certainly have, uh, sh sh you know, shined in it. And so we're going to be right back with the commercial break. Uh, Romero Brito always says, your shapes and colors are insane. And that was by Romero Brito. We'll be right back with Alex Mijares after the commercial break. <laughs> 